I was hearing rumors that Carl Anthony Towns might be dealt to Phoenix in a package that would involve Phoenix number overall pick and that Minnesota would draft DeAndre Ayton. We back to the Boston Clinic and more. I link the source in the description about just the overall unhappiness that, you know, or the beef that's between Tom Thibodeau and Carl Anthony Towns. Wasn't that publicized during the season? We know they got knocked out by the Rockets in five games. And in my opinion, Minnesota, you know, underachieved under Tom Thibodeau. I think Tom Thibodeau was one of the most overrated coaches in, in basketball. And what he did with Minnesota this year, I know there was a three seed at one point. He can't coach. You know, he can't coach today's players, man. You know, he got, you know, Minnesota with, with Andre, with, uh, excuse me, uh, Andrew Wiggins and Jimmy Butler and Jeff Teague, one of the most, you know, quick, quickest point guards from, from, from baseline to baseline playing half-court basketball, man. When they play half-court basketball, they don't even play through Carl Anthony Towns half the time. And Anaco Thibodeau, it's probably the reason why, you know, fucking, uh, you know, uh, Derrick Rose is injured so much is that he plays his players entirely too much. He don't believe in rest, resting veterans and nothing like that. He runs players into the ground, man, playing them 40-plus minutes for 82 games a season. You know, motherfuckers tired of that, man. You know, he, all that, that old-school coaching shit, it ain't working, especially when it ain't, it ain't winning. So, Carl Anthony Towns probably tired of the bullshit. He probably tired of being in Minnesota, tired of the snow, tired of the Timberwolves, ugly-ass uniforms. He tired of the whole situation. He probably like, you know what, either it's going to be me, me or this fool right here. You know, it, it don't matter. You know, my rookie deal, he like two or three years in his rookie deal, probably got a year or two left. He probably said, I'm leaving anyway. So, at the end of the day, you know, I get my numbers, you know, get, all, get an all-star appearance and go somewhere else. Or, you know, you either get rid of this, this clown Thibodeau which who should have been gone, who can't coach. I'm trying to tell you guys he can't coach. And, and, and get rid of Thibodeau, and then we can, you know, go on from here. But the benefit of trading Carl Anthony Towns would be they're paying Jimmy Butler a whole bunch of money. You know, they, they're paying Andrew Wiggins a whole bunch of money. They're paying, uh, uh, you know, Teague a whole bunch of money, okay? The benefit of getting Wiggins and getting Aiden, Aiden to give you a little bit more cap flexibility. When Wiggins' contract up, it's another $100 million contract you got to pay with Jimmy Butler and potentially Jimmy Butler re up. Wiggins getting a hundred million dollar contract and Carl Anthony Towns just to be the seventh eighth seed with a lame duck coach and uh Thibodeau. Nah, it ain't gonna work. You know, that'd probably be smart for him to be dealt to Phoenix, you know. But Cat got a problem too, you know. The motherfucker don't want to sit on the block. All these big guys want to shoot threes and shit like that. You know, DeAndre Aiden gonna be a beast on the inside, you know. He gonna be the dominant force that he on the inside. He gonna be sitting out there sh- sitting out there shooting threes and shit like that. You know, but at the end of the day, you know, and in these situations, usually the star player win. You know, they probably get rid of Thibodeau or try to sit them both down, but it ain't going to work. They're going to sit them down. They can come to an understanding, saying the beef is over with. We good. We good. As soon as we get into the season, they beefing again. So they need to make a decision what they want to do here. You know, you know, if you can get the number one pick and, and, and an asset or two extra, I mean, why not go ahead and do it? You know, if you if you evaluate DeAndre Aiden, he's going to feel what you want to do. He's going to defend. He's going to control the paint. He's going to get rebounds, dunk, and do all the stuff you need him to do. He could do a comparable job to uh, Carl Anthony Towns. Why not get him? You know, this contract will be cheaper. You know, T- C- uh, Towns is going out of his rookie deal right now. Or he's getting ready to go out there. I mean, I wouldn't be mad at it. But at the end of the day, my, my whole point is with Tom Thibodeau, the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves, you know, totally underachieved this year, man. They did. You know, I know there was 3C when Jimmy was playing. It was getting fe- catch a fire. But... Still, they're going to end up like the Portland Trailblazers getting beat by a six seed or whatever in the playoffs. And they don't play right. They don't play right. You get Craig Popovich on that team, that team would have been head and shoulders above where it is today. And like I said, you know, Tom Thibodeau plays guys too many minutes. He just runs you into the ground. The guys ain't got time for that. You know, he need to, you know, learn how to use his bench. It's an 82-game season. He's an old-school you know, one of them overrated coaches, you know, everybody liking the league, but nobody want to say the truth about it. I'm going to tell you the truth about him. He can't coach. Not this team. It ain't for him. That old school, you know, Doc Rivers disciple shit, that's going out the window. Doc Rivers ain't shit as a coach. You know? All that shit is gone. They need somebody young, innovative, that's going to teach them how to really use their athletic ability to get up and down the court. You know, all this, you know, he's a defensive coach. I mean, motherfuckers got blew out by Houston. You got two of the premier, you got three good premier, perimeter defenders and Carl Anthony Towns in the middle. Why it ain't working? You got T, who's a decent defender. Wiggins, who's an outstanding defender. Jimmy Butler, one of the better perimeter defenders in the league. And you still letting a team like Minnesota score 120, 130 points on your head. 
You know, you still, you know, you still struggling with with the bums of the, of, the, of the bottom of the east and the bums of the bottom of the west. He ain't no good coach. The proof's in the pudding. He ain't did shit since they since he got there. He ain't turned his team into you know you know some 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 dogs or some wolves. They some motherfucking uh baby huskies, man. You know, you sure this ain't the Washington Huskies instead of the Minnesota Timberwolves? Cause cause he ain't did shit with him, man. Nobody, everybody's scared to say that shit, man. I ain't scared to say nothing. I know ball. Another coach, you know, that, that got some sense, that know how to coach, that know how to make adjustments. And that's the pro- that'd be the problem in the NFL, man. With quarterbacks and certain players. You know, these these coaches are so old school and so um unfle- non flexible. Okay? They'd rather just try to fit a square peg in a round hole. And in the NFL, they get these rookie quarterbacks and try to, you know, make them do what what the what the system is they got there and make them fit, knowing that that's not their strength. And you're saying I could just force it in and he, he eventually get it, and that's how you get guys that sparked out. And that's exactly what, what, what Tom Thibodeau doing here. He's trying to force a, a square peg in a round hole, man, and they ain't working with this team. He has to adjust and be flexible in his coaching approach, and he won't do it. He one of them old stubborn motherfuckers. In a minute, if 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 they if they owner got any motherfucking uh common sense, he'll wake up and get rid of his ass, man. You know, if you ain't really willing to be flexible and willing to make adjustments through the NBA, you can get ate up in any league. He has to adjust, but he can't. He's stuck in his ways. He know what he coaching, and, and, and he's gonna be out the league. Nobody gonna want his ass. You know, he probably got good coaching qualities. Man, he's mad overrated. You know, ran Derrick Rose into the ground, ran his knees out. You know, Bulls blowing somebody out in the playoffs. He still got Derrick Rose in the game, blew his knee out. You know, dude ain't smart, man. But it is what it is. Let me know what y'all think about this this cat, potential trade. It's your boy TBC and more. We gone.